Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is XIDD from Christopher Rawlins. Before we do that, can you please like, subscribe and share. And of course, like I said every time, check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course where you get taught by me, a professional magician, and I pretty much share everything I know with a deck of cards and more. We had a coin magic session on the live sessions the other day, which we run every, uh, which we run every week. Uh, so have a look at that and they're all recorded and, and they're for you to look at later as well. There's like 23 live sessions now which you can peruse at your leisure along with the 300 plus videos. I will apologise by the way, I, it's, you'll notice I'm quite shiny. <laughs> I'm quite shiny because it's what happens in my office and I've, we've, I, do, I still have to say this every year because people go, why is Steve so hot? He looks really unwell. It's like <laughs> some sort of disease. Um, Every year it goes cold and they whack the heating up in my office building and then we always have like a heat wave and they don't whack the heating back down. So everybody in this office building is just climbing the walls going, please let it be over. We're all absolutely boiling. So I just thought I'd have to let you know about that. Uh, right, so I saw uh, Chris Rawlings do his lecture about a year ago and was really blown away by the lecture. I, I think I mentioned this before. I sat for like two and a half hours or whatever. I enjoyed every minute of it. I didn't think there was anything that was rubbish. Picked up all the lecture notes. Really good stuff. If you get a chance to get his lecture notes, I really suggest you get them. He's someone a bit like Looch that I think, you know, they lecture the things that they do, you know, and I know that should be the case, but I'm not sure it is always the case. But this feels like it's something that Chris has put a hell of a lot of thought into when well, he has, because it is rather good. Uh, which is a bit of a spoiler. This is an effect where, and like all mentalism effects, when I read them, I go, too good to be true. And then when I read the method, I go, oh yeah, too good to be true. But not like that in this case. The effect is you say to someone, whether in the room, out of the room, on Zoom or whatever, um, get a bit of paper, draw an image on it and, and hold it in your hand. This, this is off camera or even in a different room. It doesn't leave their hand from that point, right? There is no way you can get a look at it. They know that it's completely clean. Um, and you have a stack of business cards. You take one out, you draw, a, a, whether you can do a mind reading thing or you draw it beforehand as a, as a kind of, um, as a prediction, all that kind of stuff, put it in the middle of the thing. They can then hold the pack themselves of cards. Uh, you do whatever presentational ideas you want to do and then go through and you've, you've, you've got a hit on their drawing uh, you've either predicted or you've mind read or whatever they're drawing it's that strong and when i like i said when i did read it i did go there's going to be something very disappointing in this method because there always is and there really wasn't and and i've performed it twice now well twice on zoom because i wanted to to see how that went because of the current situation uh and once in real life and it's and this isn't just for zoom this is for everything but the brilliant thing is it's super 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 strong remotely that's a great thing. And it's not an app and it's not, it's something that feels like an organic thing that you're actually doing something with them um, and they can see it, but it's, it, they can't reverse engineer it. So that's, a, that's the first thing to say. It does live up to the hype. What Chris is about it, it's, you know, there is no peaks, there's no kind of glimpses. There's none of that stuff that we used to or any other things you have to bring into play. It's just this thing that you use in your hands. And there are many, uh, different presentation ideas for this. Now this is based in, in 2015, this is based on a book Drawing Thoughts by Chris and he, he published this one idea of how to use this. This is an expansion of that. It's kind of looking at the versatility of this tool and he goes through how to make the tool, uh, which is really important because he goes through in detail so there's no kind of ambiguity there because I, I really struggle when you know, you're making something up and it's not quite clear here. I've just made the whole thing up, uh, no problem at all. And, uh, and then, as it says in the copy, you'll have this thing you can use uh, forever. And I can, and I think I will. So then after that, you've got the, it's a, I think it's a 42 page PDF or round about that. Um, you've got ideas from John Archer, the, w which give you a sort of uh, another presentational idea on it. There's an idea by Luke Jamay. There's um, a few different ideas. Sorry, I can't remember everybody. There is a different handling of video by Jan Foster. Yeah, Jan Foster, I do apologise, Elemental Block there, um, that gives you a totally different presentation and a kind of different way to use, to, to set the thing up as well. 
Um, but it's it felt like a good PDF. It was well written. It was very clear. And again, this is something that I think means a lot to Chris. And he, as he says in it, you know, let's move things forward and, and do this with respect. Now, I will say the two performances I did, I did sort of break the rules. Chris says, when you do this, make sure you've played with them a lot. Make sure you feel really confident that you're really slick with it. I wasn't, but I it's a bit different when I do a review. I have to kind of rush things out a little bit. But that's a testament to how strong this is because I did do it quite badly. I forgot a lot of the brilliant scripting ideas that do make it a lot more convincing. And the two people that I did it to, as I said every time, they've seen a lot and they were just like, that's done my head in. I'm going to be thinking about that. I have no idea how you did that. And, and think about how strong this is. It all happens away from you and it like i said on pieces of paper and stuff it's not just a it's not an app or anything like that not that that's a bad thing but i think it, if you're putting a zoom show together it does mix it up a bit and feel very very different there's some great ideas about kind of sending things to people beforehand and different ways of doing it on zoom and there's some even more more uh, varied ideas with using sort of a name and place routine and using it with star signs and using it on a table and, and completely different ways of doing it so we have got something here that i think is probably hasn't quite got the attention it deserves. I think it's really clever and I think it's really good and it's, Chris deserves some recognition for it. So uh, the good points are it's easy, not really any angles to worry about, um, super strong and versatile, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the challenges are you've got to make the thing up, which does take some time, but it's worth it. Uh, and you're gonna have to practice it to, to feel really confident with it. But again, that's what we should do. Um, there was one more thing I was going to say. Um, yes, if you're going to... Right, so just a little thing if, you're, if, you're, if you do get this and you're putting it together. Use the things that Chris says to use. Okay, when he says, I use these business cards, use those ones. I use super cheap ones. It still works fine, but it just it, it's not as nice. So just make sure you make sure you get some sort of premium stock. So it's so just something that is going to... You know, my, my business cards were so cheap, they're all kind of frayed at the edges and stuff like that. Because so, it does take a bit of time to make up. You're going to want something that's going to going to last a bit. But uh, but really, really like it. It's it's really good. And I was really buzzing after performing it. I felt really good about it. So uh, that's XIDD from Christopher Rawlings. Do check it out. Check out the links below. And very quickly, thank you so much for David from uh, Magic Orthodoxy. The great review channel has been going years. He, he's always bigging me up and uh, giving me mentions. And I always think I'm going to thank him and I always forget, it just goes out of my head. So it's absent-mindedness, not a uh, lack of gratitude. Uh, so a big thanks to David for, um, for the shout-outs he gives to me. It really does make a difference. And talking about making a difference, please like, subscribe, share, check out Car Magic Course because that really does make a difference. And I know I say it every time, but it's important. Uh, so thanks very much. Have a great one. See you later.